So in this uh, module, we are going to look at uh, arc parts. So this is a very important module to know if you are writing tools, command line tools. Um, so it is very simple to use this particular module. So basically these are the four steps. So you first create an argument parser object and then you add arguments. And there are three types of arguments. One is positional, the second one is optional arguments and the third one is flags. Flags are mostly used for binary kind of variables. And then you parse those arguments using this command args is equal to parse underscore args. And then you can access these the values that you have provided here in our uh, add arguments as args.var1 and args.var2 and so on. So there is a, a, another concept called argument groups where you are trying to use related variables in, in a same group. Uh, conceptually you can create them separately but to have um, to organize them within your code you can use this group structure and uh, there uh, we'll wrap it up with two examples an example one i'll go in detail an example two i'll just show the code and you can implement on your own so we will look at a live example on a command line but uh, let's look at a basic structure of how do you uh, how to use these four steps so what do you do you first import arc parse module and then it creates a parser object by calling arc parse at argument parser and this is the description of that command line tool that you're creating. What does what are the options about? So you give here more meaningful description, and then you are creating uh, adding arguments to this parser object. So you are saying um, I need a first object, and then uh, you you can specify the type of the object it's going to be, and then this is help. It helps you to on uh, the external user understand what is this argument about and then you can do the same thing for the add on one more argument is second argument and uh, and then you can call uh, all of these values into args variable by calling parser dot parse arcs and you can access them using args at first and args at second whatever you give here so this is a positional which means uh, whatever you give like python program name and then first argument and second argument that first argument will be here and the second argument will be here so there are more options like you can give uh, optional arguments and there are short arguments and so on we will go in detail um, um, with some examples uh, let's let's start with a basic example of how we use uh, without this we'll slowly build up to adding all of these options so let's look at um, so for example if you are writing a simple function of dividing two values so here i have a is equal to 4 and b is equal to 2 and you are dividing a by b right so this is what you are doing and i'm printing the result so this is the, the program name is python arc pass tutorial py so i can say python uh, So if you see here, it's printing this hello world statement and then it's printing the value. It's saying A is 4, B is 2 and then um, the result is 2.0, right? So this is fairly simple, but this is not flexible because you are giving these values in the code. You would probably want to give from outside. So the other way of uh, doing without arc pass module is using this. So you are saying you are using system.argv and system.argv2. You can see here uh, the same code except that here now I'm using sys.argv and arc2. So this program is arc pass tutorial 2. So if I say something like this. Uh, so if I just print it without giving any values, uh, it will show an error because it's expecting argv. So let's look, give some values here, 4 and 2. So now you can see the program run. Uh, and it's showing the value result of dividing 4 and 2 is 2 right so this program works but this is not a flexible way of for some for some re options you may not want to give all the values you may want probably want to use default or you may don't probably don't remember the order in which you're e reading these inputs if you have too many of them so let's look at uh, an improved version uh, using r parse so 
what am I doing here? So here I'm importing arc parse um, module and I'm creating a, creating a parser object as I've shown in that notebook. So here I'm giving a more informative uh, uh, arc, uh, description here. So an example that divides two numbers provided. Okay. And then uh, for the parser object, I'm adding two objects, first object and second object. And I'm saying what types they are. And in order for the people to understand, you can you can write the help argument, what this first argument is about and the second argument is about. So, and then I'm reading those values into arcs and I'm reading the first as A and second as B and I'm using this divide A by B, right? So, so let's uh, see how to invoke this program name is Python R Parse Tutorial 3. So if I do, for example, 3, if I want to know what are the options available, I can just simply press minus H. So you can see when you press minus H, it gives you help. So usage, it says the description is, is here, an example that divides two numbers provided. So these are the options, minus H, first and second. So you have to provide the first uh, arguments here. So the way to run this program would be like 4 and 2. Right. So it says hello world and it's printing result of dividing 4 and 2 is 2. Now this is fairly straightforward. These are the positional arguments. But how about if you don't remember what position is what, right? If there are too many variables, sometimes you can get confused. So the better option is to use optional arguments. Let's look at that option as well. So here um, I will slowly introduce some of these options. So let's look at the first simpler one, which is um, I am giving two uh, for the optional arguments. Uh, I need to specify dash dash first and dash dash second. So let's see what happens. So this program is R parse tutorial four. So, so if I do Python minus h, so it says. Um, I have to give minus minus first and minus minus seconds, right? So you can I can simply do minus minus first is four minus minus second is two. Now you can see it, it, it produces that. But if I don't remember my order but I know what those are, I can simply say minus minus second two minus first is four. So this also works uh, even if the order changed. But this is too big to remember, but so we can simplify it by giving a short name minus f and then minus s. Right. So this one I gave a shortcut. Let, let me save this code and then now if I do this minus f. Sorry. See, you can, you can see that this, this, this actually works. Mm, it remembers uh, these shortcuts. But if I try to do minus H, for example, so it prints all of these options, uh, minus H is help and first and second. So that there's a lot more information. You can understand it, but uh, you can actually make it better by simply adding one more way, uh, argument here, which is meta or I do the same thing now. You can see it now has uh, a cleaner description of the arguments minus f, minus y, first, and so on. Um, hopefully, this is uh, straightforward to understand. Now, let's look at a little bit more um, completed example, slightly elaborate example. So, in this case, I have R parse. Uh, parser and I'm saying perform basic arithmetic operations and the first argument is operation so there are four choices here I'm specifying a list add subtract multiply and divide and then I'm adding two arguments um, a and b yep. the operation is also another argument so there are three arguments we have operation a and b and then once you get those uh, arg values you can add subtract and divide so let's see this particular example python so this is example one 
example one dot p y minus h. So now you can see it's saying positional argument. The first one is these values operations to perform, and then the first operand and the second operand. Right. So you can see you can write it as now. If, uh, yeah, I can I can do this. Add four two six. Right. If I say let's say subtract. So it says it's an error because my options are subtract. I, I put extra s here. So I should probably give it as subtract and then it should work. So you can see as soon as I gave the right word, it, it, it was able to subtract. And I can do other options as well, but the logic is the same. So let's uh, go back and review uh, this particular module and then we'll wrap it up. So what we have seen is we how to add arguments and then you, how to pass those arguments into this variable and how to access them. So this, this is what we, we, we can add positional arguments by specifying the variable name and the type and then give it useful description for this particular variable. Uh, if it's an optional, you have to give dash dash and then that variable and then dash dash second so that you don't have to remember the order uh, for this uh, way of doing things. And you can make these arguments smaller by adding a shortcut, like a simple minus dash, minus f and dash s. So you can make it required, you know, these are optional sometimes, so you can make it required by using required is equal to true. And in order to clean up the output, you, you can specify meta var is equal to uh, empty string. And then finally, if you want to use flags, this is something that you did not explore. Uh, but flags are essentially, if you specify minus v verbos, for example, then and then action is called stored, stored true, which means the verbos options will be true whenever you add this argument. If you don't argue, uh, add this argument, it will be false. So if the verbos argument is added, uh, then uh, you can do appropriately appropriate action. So. The other way uh, is mutually exclusive. You can create a group. Here I created a parser that add mutually exclusive group. So this is a convenient way of adding similar functional functional uh, variable into one group. For example, here quite is essentially saying don't print too much information. Verbos is you know give me as much detail as possible for this particular uh, variable. So give, so you can either give minus q or minus v and uh, based on what you provided it will print appropriately so let's look at one example um, we already looked at this particular example where we are adding uh, different operations and how to give them this is another example where you are resizing an image here i will be providing four arguments one is input path which is needed and the output path and then you, you're giving um, optional arguments minus minus width and minus minus height. Right. You know, in which means they don't have to be positional you have to give them uh, some value because i'm um, specifying required equal to for sure you have to give width and height uh, but uh, you can specify uh, minus minus width and minus minus height instead of giving a positional argument and you can execute this code i'm not going to go through this um, so with that, we can uh, wrap this particular uh, module.